dear traders, the worst January since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic is over, so market sentiment is improving slowly but surely. Our today's review will also contain positive news. We will discuss the weekly results of the main US stock indices. The seasonal sell-off will end soon. This is why bulls may gain momentum this week. There is a high probability of recovery in the equity market. Watch our video review and find out the target levels for the stock indices. The Dow Jones, as well as the entire stock market, incurred significant losses last week. Before the Fed meeting, there was high volatility. When the central bank announced its meeting results, the market also experienced sharp fluctuations. On Friday to Monday, panic ebbed away and traders became more optimistic amid expectations of robust economic recovery. As a result, the Dow finished the week in the black. The index was able to win back 1.7%, moving to 35,130 points. As for the long-term prospects, analysts expect the index to rise higher. However, they do not exclude a small pullback after the two-day growth. In February, the Dow Jones is forecast to trade in the range of 34,700 35,500 points. The S&P 500 index also added decent gains at the end of the week, exceeding the most optimistic forecasts. Economists supposed that the index would grow to 4,500 points, while the index managed to reach 4,515, so its weekly growth totaled 2.2%. As for the outlook, the index is likely to resume a bull run amid optimistic sentiment in the market. It's likely to stay in the range of 4,470-4,600 points. The heavy tech Nasdaq showed the biggest gain in the last week of January. After a prolonged sell-off and the worst results, the index advanced by 4.5%. Thus, its weekly increase mounted to 600 points. The Nasdaq jumped to a high of 14,200. The earnings season also boosted its growth. This week, new companies are expected to reveal their quarterly reports. The index may also climb amid earnings reports of such tech giants as Meta, Alphabet and Amazon. It's likely to fluctuate in the range of 14,000, 14,500. Apparently, the monthly correction and downtrend of the main stock indices has ended. They managed to perform a sharp upward reversal. What were the main reasons for it and what to expect next? Let's try to answer these questions. To begin with, it's necessary to recall the main events of the last week. The most important event was the FOMC meeting. The central bank confirmed that it would raise the cure rate in March. Traders also digested positive US GDP data for the fourth quarter. The reading amounted to 6.9%. The US also published an inflation report showing that consumer prices reached an annual high of 4.9%. After studying these figures, investors perked up. They realized that the stock market prospects are quite bright. The main catalyst for growth was the upbeat US GDP report, which turned out to be significantly better than expectations. This was a ray of light for investors, who rushed to open long positions. In just two days, the S&P 500 jumped by 4%, while the Nasdaq rose by 7%. As noted, the earnings season is in full swing and the indices are likely to extend gains. In addition, this week the US will unveil data on the Manufacturing and Services PMI indices for January, as well as the Non-Farm Payrolls report. The US government has already warned that labor market data is unlikely to be positive because of the Omicron outbreak in January. At the same time, the mortality rate remains low, which means that the outbreak may ease in February. We end our review of the stock market on a positive note. Judging by the overall trend in the stock market, the sentiment is optimistic today. However, bear in mind that a sharp increase may lead to a technical pullback. Weigh up all the factors and use this information wisely to increase your profit. Good luck and see you back soon!